This is the deck there, continuing the Battle Brothers playthrough. I didn't record the fight with the poachers, uh, which was uh, the brigand thugs and poachers, which I thought was super easy and super boring. Somehow, though, I still <laughs> managed to take a wound on my new recruit here, the adventurous noble. I ran him up to a brigand poacher, who proceeded to puncture him for 25 damage. In theory, that poacher... Oh, no, he couldn't have killed me, because he, they don't have quick hands. But, yeah... That was irritating, to say the least. So, now I have a guy being paid 29 crowns a day, sitting around doing nothing. Uh, I gotta get this wound treated, and then I gotta send him back to the front. Uh, you get quality recruits, I think it's pointless to have them sitting, uh, warming a bench somewhere. Now, this character, um, my cell sword continues to be a god. Plus three melee skill again, despite having no stars, he's rolled three, three, two, and three. That's incredible. And I think we need four more resolve. Like, 48 seems like a good place. Um, I do feel like this character may benefit a little bit more from fatigue. In theory, right now, for Nimble Tank, you're supposed to go full hit points. But um, I do think that's going to change. And you have some hit points. So let's just take, and plus you need the resolve at some point, and you need the melee attack. So this seems very reasonable to me. Um, not actually sure what perks to give you yet, because I'm not sending you to the front. The earliest I would possibly send you to the front is level 7, when you get either Battleforge or Nimble. Otherwise, you're going to stay in the back, and if you're staying in the back, get as long as you have Steel Brow, you'll be fine. The other perks don't really matter right now, so um, there's um, this is the real prize here, the vacated dwellings. Could be lots of undead. Hopefully not a necromancer. If there's a necromancer, we may have to retreat and fight this during the day, but I don't want to waste time. I'm going to bring some cutting weapons, uh, sending my caravan hand here. Good luck, buddy. You don't really need the net. And otherwise, everyone else, yeah, seems good. This nimble build is stupid, in my opinion. An archer, I'm tempted to quit armor just because of like how silly that build was. I remember the brigand shot me for five hit points. Admittedly, it was drew some armor, but like normally those crossbow bolts and bows and whatever do what? Um, 40 to 60 damage. So. It'll instead do 10 to 15 damage. Yeah. Plus I have naturally good defenses. And this armor, by the way, absorbs a hit. Alright. Plus I get more fatigue. That's... Ooh, okay. 19. The question is, is there a Necromancer? We really need to buy a Hawk. Let's see what the AI does. There are four guys. Because I saw them move like that. If there are no Necros, this is quite doable. Despite the fact that there are four guys. It's still dangerous. Let's just uh, pass on everyone. See what the AI does. The zombies can't really do anything to me. But the guys can. I don't think there's a necromancer. It doesn't seem like it. We don't know. There could be a fallen hero or some such. Alright, so these are the four guys. Four guys. That's quite a few. How do we want to do this? What terrain should we abuse? This line's actually not bad. But remember, the best way to fight zombies is to force them to change elevation, since they can't attack when they initially change elevation. Hmm. But complicating this is the fact that there are geists, meaning we can't just sit in our preferred location and wait for the zombies to come to us. And we have to keep all our men together, so my sergeant buffs everyone. 
I'm thinking this may be a battle where we just have to brute force our way through the front. Depends a lot on where the guys come. But we have to stay clumped up. Or else the guys are going to get us. Gonna have to... They're gonna move to like here. I really want to know what the guys do. This guy could move up. Thinking a spear wall here makes sense. And then we're gonna rush the middle. That seems like it makes a lot of sense. A little bit of high ground. If we're rushing the middle, we should start shooting the middle there. Ugh. Now, I think the current position is fine. Gotta stay together, though. Um, I'm gonna move my sergeant back a little bit. One, two, three, four. You're getting the buff, right? Yep. Two. Zombies can move three, right? So spear walling doesn't actually do anything. No, we can't move up because we need the buff. Ugh, I don't want to go there. But it's fine because we're going to spear wall. Yeah, and I want to see, I'm going to hold with everyone, I don't see what the guys do. I think the guys may well move out this round. Let's see what the guys do. Oh, that was a bit of a wasted shield, a spear wall. They don't do anything. Well, let's thin the front. Gonna kill a couple of these guys. They can move up and attack, but we're gonna have to take it. We go do double grip. Well, the good news is a lot of the guys are still in the back, so we get to kill some of the zombies. Everybody has the buff. Right? Let's see what they do. 
That one almost is not worth beheading. Ooh. Hold. 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 Let's see what the zombies do. Oh, that's fantastic. Spear wall broke very quickly there. Yeah, we may have the high ground, but it's not as good as the uh, preventing them from attacking the first turn. Okay. We'll probably behead this guy. Mace needs to die. Get confident. Good. Yep, this seems good. Pass. Get that guy. Gonna save my fatigue a little bit. Swap weapons to the pike. Ah, oh, interesting. All right, good. We can. Okay, this right flank is going to be a problem. This is where my uh, houndmaster tank is going to have some serious issues. I'm thinking we clear out this sector and then we advance up that way. Gotta kill the other two guys. Don't know what I'm shooting here yet. Not gonna attack that one. Because I want to... Um... Attack through. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with you yet. I might rally, but I think stabbing is better. Stab like that. Hold. Damn. Didn't hit the guys. Taxing 11 turns. I might have to. Switch to the double grip there. Good. Ooh, 51%? That's very bad. I have the spear is way more dangerous. I think I can move down. This guy could move up here. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, I think we have to cut through a lot of these zombies. Ugh. Alright, you might die, but that's alright. Kind of to be expected, honestly. Okie doke. For some scatter. Good. Done here. Done here. Maximum damage. Alright, incoming guy screams. We know what we're doing with the sergeant this turn. Let us start killing. Sure. 
This is gonna hurt, potentially. No? Good? Okay. The high ground is doing at least something for it. Actually, seven turns. Okay, they're, so they're starting to be able to go ahead of me. Ugh, that's a fatigue hit, which is what's so bad about it. Hold on here. Ugh, that armor is almost completely gone. Another double hit. Okay, good. One guy's down. That helps. can double attack, but I can't decapitate. Confident. Some of my other men are going to have problems. But I want to double attack. That probably seems okay. We can recover next turn. All right, one down. Oof. Good, that one's stunned. Oof. Gotta push our way through the zombies. Alright, rally. No such luck on my grave robber, but it's alright. I need a better sergeant. This guy's turn is done. That's fine. Barely did anything. Maxing three turns. Nine turns. Let's freeze. Oh! Nope. Not what I was hoping for. That's okay. I could take the head hit. Let's try to see if we can't get in position to attack that guy. I was hoping to move down and split, but... This works. Ugh. No luck with the stun. We're going to take some damage here. Yeah. What were those hit chances? 44? Yeah, I don't have the shield up. Alright, let's move closer. Oh boy. Mass route incoming. Axing seven turns, axing nine turns. This guy can take it. Uh, let's do. Good. All right, almost every zombie is dead. Alright, some guys rallied back at something. To maximize our surround bonuses. That. Good. Ugh, that guy's held it scream? Clever.
One, two, three, four. Okay, I still have the bonus here. Let's move up like this. I can still rally. It's fine. That's okay. up on those guys oh I didn't see that uh, Vitor Ginger there whoops no mistake there This battle is basically over. It wasn't that bad. Maxing five turns, okay. Oof. Any interesting loot? Oh my gosh, another legendary. My luck and uh, all these crowns, a second legendary item, another helmet. Uh, this one has less armor, but um, also less fatigue. Still, amazing. Gotta do more camps. This is where the game's at. All right. Uh, who should use it? Probably my other Battleforge character. Ooh, you're looking tanky now. Honestly, you could go, like, double grip right now with how tanky you are. 76, 72. Your sword, you could, like, wreck guys. Your double grip damage bonus. Not bad at all. Uh, mace user leveled up. What was I going to give him? Underdog? Actually, Desperately need rotation on this character. I have to pass underdog for rotation right now. A lot. Of I miss rotation a little too much. Gotta have it. You don't have anything. You're pretty beat up. Which is pretty much how we would have expected it. Yep. Ooh, 140 helmet. Nice. Um, let's do this. Very nice. All right, I like the outcome. We also found uh, stuff worth almost 2,000 crowns. So in addition, to a legendary item, we got 2,000 crowns. Oh, well, okay, 1,500 or 1,600 crowns worth of loot, which is the equivalent of three skull mission right now. Beautiful, beautiful work. Undead seems to be quite popular in this region. There's a necro camp, uh, and then uh, something spawn here. Could be more undead, maybe up here, here. I want to fight undead. All right, back to Deekstad. We also get a bonus 490 crowns from all this. All in all, profitable days worth of work. Where to next? Urgensan, there was a mission here to scout something. Um, we know there's a, some sort of other hut here, and I'm pretty sure there's something up here. 
There could be quite a few runes in between here and Arlberg. Alright, gotta go into the town. Vacated dwellings, I already cleared that out though. Uh, the Swordmaster is still there, but I can't afford him. I mean, I need to save my crowns for some other stuff right now. Among other things, better armor. Ooh, these prices are phenomenal. Um, we desperately need more arrows. Probably, I'm going to head north. Where there should be plenty more. Let's buy a stack of tools for good measure. But I'm kind of worried. Let's just buy a second stack of ammunition. I'm overpaying a little bit, but it's not by much. Sell this, sell that. We need all these flails. Maybe. I don't like more than two flails, um, even for brigand missions. That will give us uh, two flails. Plenty of nets. Mm, I'm thinking we should go explore some more. Exploration has been... Uh, has been good. Uh, gotta buy some more food. What kind of food don't we have? We don't have bread. We don't have berries either. Alright. Despite the expense of all of these items. Um, do I need more medicine? This is not a terrible price. Let's just buy it. Just in case. You never know. You never know. What is this? Antidote? Don't think I need that. We have money. We should go off exploring a little bit. Um, no contracts here, but we can sail back to Urgenson. Now, this contract for 300 crowns at this point, it's not even really worth doing. Oh, the food is so much cheaper here. Should have bought food here. But... It says, let's see, overgrown workers somewhere in the region of Beetroot Wild, some way to the northeast. That's because I don't really want to come back to this town. I do want to go to the northeast. I think there's another camp here in the swamp from what I remember. So there's at least two camps. We can go our wander through the wilderness, kill some stuff. But then I'm not wandering back here. I want to head up and do the northern uh, northern loop so 300 crowns from that mission is garbage but the fact that there is something else out here is very valuable information how's my uh, how close am I to completing the ambition famed I think glorious might be 2,000 so we're reasonably close Rax know what that is but I'm I'm not heading back to chase it down we need to fight some dire wolves come on oh no it's night it's gonna make it hard to uh, see things that overgrown woodcutters hut could be here or maybe it's in the fog hard to say Could be in this swamp. Could in theory be over there. Hmm. Alright, I don't think it's there. Could be over there. Forsaken Runes. Okay, that's the other place. I think the Overgrown Worker must be in here somewhere. So I could go kill this, come down, kill this, go back to Hammer then. This place usually has good quests. 
But I feel like we were just at Hammer Dead. Or I can come here, kill this, and then I have to go like this. Mm, let's go kill this Forsaken Ruins first. Sounds like it could be zombies. It could be brigands. Hard to say. Hard to say. Gonna have to bring my better sergeant. Uh, who else do I bring? Huh. Alright. Two archers. This setup seems alright. If it's brigands, we may have to retreat and uh, equip some uh, more appropriate gear, but for now, this seems fine. If it's undead, we have the right tools. Let's um, do this. Maximum flexibility. Keep you in the back. All right, this seems good. Uh, I'll record this in the next video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.